Men are trash. Pran, Luke was acting like a real poms. What's good guys, it's your girl Martika back with another video. And if you don't know, get to know, hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that notification bell to stay tuned for Love Island views and more. Listen, men are trash. Trash. Dummy. I wasn't surprised, but you know what? I actually thought in yesterday's episode, last night's episode, I thought it was part of a challenge. I was wrong. <sighs> He basically mind read, became Mystic Meg and made her, didn't make her, but you know, stared her out and basically Dami got her to kiss him. Trash. I thought he was loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. Listen, these hoes are not loyal. These men are not loyal. Men are trash. So in tonight's episode, it starts off with China and Jay. They're talking. I'm actually here for Jay and China. I like them already. I know I haven't seen much of them, but I actually like them together. Um, China seems like a nice, sweet girl. She's very confident. She comes across. She comes across. You know, she knows herself. And Jay, you can see that he is into her. But he used to speak to like Ekin Sue or uh, Paige when he was trying to graph them. It's different. It, he's into her you can see that he's into china um they basically talk about their types and what their types are um jay he says he doesn't normally have a type uh and um and china says that she likes someone that's tall i'm actually quite shocked that jay's into his black girl so still do you love him chocolate so then moving on to Catherine moore george and ek and sue are talking uh, he asks her do you think you found the right guy and um she starts asking him, why are you asking me this? Like, I'm open to know people, basically, but, like, she's basically saying she's happy with Davide. Ekinsu. Ekinsu, please. Graft. Hope there's a sign that you can just start grafting, because, boy. But the thing is, like, is there anyone in there that Ekinsu is really, really feeling? Mm, they're all younger. Ekinsu also states that... It it's a mutual thing between her and Davide and it was about pride before but they've managed to get past it. So she is really like thinking, she's really thinking that Davide is going to be loyal to her. I think, no, like I don't think she should have thought like that because like what comes around goes around. She should have had in the back of her mind that listen, Davide can switch at any time because what she's done to him in the past. You can see that George is into Ekinsu, but is Ekinsu into George? Let me know in the comments what you think about Ekinsu and George. Is there anything from Ekinsu? I didn't really see much from Ekinsu, but I've seen a lot from George and George is really feeling her. And he basically says that Ekin is in his top two. And then he states that Ekinsu has surprised him tonight in tonight's episode. It's obviously, everyone should have graphed to get into the, the main villa. In the main villa, you've got Davide and Coco. I don't know what kind of stripper name this is, but she really thinks she's some stripper. Like, I don't think, obviously, that's not a real name. Coco asks Davide if he, she, directly if Davide likes her, straight up, di, straight up and direct. She also calls herself a prize, and I'm just thinking, which type of prize are you? The prize that you get in the um, in the arcades, and you have to pick them up, and you get dashed back down. Like you're not no prize, honey. You can definitely see that Coco, she's a game player, like as in she just wants to secure a botch face in that villa. It's, I can't stand it looking at her face. It's just so. She's really giving like Cher vibes, but like Cher is actually an older woman and has gracefully aged with her Botox that she's had. But the thing is like, this girl is like young and meaty looking. Jax, I thought Jax's head would have turned a lot quicker in, in terms of like kissing a girl tonight or, you know, like literally like he's just only he's he's been very aware of his surroundings and trying to, you know, he's playing the game good like, like like Luca's playing the game but like Luca's really like making sure that it's not cracking on with no girl but like Jax, Jax knows what he's doing. He is basically getting to know the girls but not fully going in like with what we've seen tonight with Dami, trash, like getting kissed up from Summer and uh, Andrew and Coco. Jax is finding out which girl's into him and if he's really feeling them he'll go for them but I don't know, I think he's still a little bit tied up with, um, I think he's still a little bit tied up with Paige at the, at this precise moment. He does say he wants to get two girls in his bed tonight, but there's not really that much that comes from Jax tonight with the girls. Obviously, later on in the challenge, um, he does kiss, like, a few of the, 
a few of the girls. Dami randomly asks, um, I think the new girl with the dark hair, brunette girl, oh, I can't remember her name, but he starts asking her about what her favorite crisp is and she says paprika. He gets a text and the girls in the villa, they get a text. It's about to go down. The raunchy races challenge. So basically in this challenge, they basically kiss um, whichever girl they fancy the most or whichever boy they fancy the most. Luca kissing up um, Molly's toe. This man loves to kiss a toe, doesn't he? Gemma kisses Josh. Ekin and Billy kiss because basically Billy's the shortest guy in there. The challenge, it was a good challenge. Everyone got to come out of their shell a bit more. And Castro Moore, I'm glad Castro Moore won it, to be honest, because these mans, the, these men are trash. Like, they just couldn't ha contain themselves. So yeah, the challenge was great. India, India kisses Deji as she's sitting right next to him. And Dami kisses Summer as they're sitting right next to, well, Summer kisses Dami as they're sitting right next to each other as well. Eh, later on, Deji asks, India about the kiss if it was meaningful and what truth was behind it she basically says yes I am attracted to you Deji um but I'd like to just have more chat and see how we go on from there um Deji says vice versa he's interested in her um I don't know like is she gonna open up more to Deji is is you know is I think Deji's got a secure spot because when that postcard flies in to Casa more to show the girls what's been going in. Tears are gonna start broken out because people are gonna get hurt. Andrew ends up kissing six girls. Basically, he loses the challenge for the main villa because he's there just pecking, pecking, pecking like duck. Like, you're supposed to lips up the gal them and all of them things. He's there just... Luca got pissed. <laughs> Luca's there getting pissed at that as well. Davide and stripper Coco they jump in the water as well to do the whole under the water kiss. They didn't win that because they were too slow. The other team won it, Gemma and Billy, I think. Gemma and George, as George was the shortest in Castro Moore. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what you thought about tonight's challenge as well. Andrew talks about how he's confused because some of the girls come in and basically said, said it how it was. They chose violence and they said, listen, Tasha's mugging you off. Like, you need to allow that girl. She's a waste girl. She's not about you, Andrew. And his head's all confused. He didn't, like, in the beginning, his head was all confused. He didn't know where to put himself, if he should open up to girls. And now, finally, Andrew's opening up and he's getting to experience his Love Island experience without this girl who used to be bawling on his shoulder 24-7. So I'm happy for him. Do you know what? I'm happy for Andrew. He's opening up. You can see more of a different side to him. We wasn't really seeing much of a personality to Andrew. I'm not saying he has got a personality, but we was not seeing much of a personality to Andrew. But now you're getting to see like, just a little bit more of a personality. It's slowly coming out. It's India finally finds Dami's ring, but the thing is, there's gonna be a divorce between India and Dami. She's gone. Listen, when she walked back in that villa, if, 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 if Dami has covered up with Summer, India better dash that ring up in his face because it's over. How can Dami do this to India? Like I said, Dami was a dark horse anyway. Both villas cheers the night off and they do the whole like slow dancing, like they're actually in some club and them ting there. So then you got Jax, Dami and Davide talking about how they're in trouble. Dami basically says how he's in trouble or we're in trouble. And I'm like, no, you're in trouble. You're the main culprit because you're the one, you know, being tested, heads turned. Says that he does like India, he's still thinking about India. I don't think you are, babes, because you're there lips in, lips in, next girl. And he has options to explore, which is true, he does have options to explore, and he's on Love Island, he needs to explore other girls. I'm not um, condoling what he's done, but what I'm saying is he does need to explore and find out which girl is right for him. He seems to have more of a connection with this summer girl. Like, I've seen a different side of Dami. He's opening up a lot more, but yeah, I'm still happy and and then he states how he has to give the girls a chance and he wants to go and kiss a girl and He says he has to kiss a girl to find out where the connections can go later on in the episode you see summer and Dami doing a stare out competition and basically before that he reads her mind and says you want to kiss me and You are interested in me and you no know, 
and you want to kiss me and then basically she goes in for the kiss and yeah Luca Jax and I can't remember but Luca and Jax are down on the sofa watching up and it's like I don't know like Luca seems Luca this year seems like Jake from last year Jake was like with Lib and he was like egging every guy on so he could try and win or get to the finals kind of thing and this is the same like re reputation this is the same thing that's been repeated from um, Luca in this year's Love Island. Like he's egging every other guy on, but he's trying to make out like he's perfection. Um, but no, Luca. Um, Dami comes for you later on. Dami comes for Luca. So Billy and Tasha have a little chat. It didn't really. There's nothing that came up from the the conversation. They were just talking about and they were just having banter. She says that she wants a guy more of an emotional connection. This girl is too emotional. Anyway, moving on. So after the challenge, they're having a little debrief. Cheyenne states how Andrew's kiss stood out for her. Luca then dares Coco to kiss Andrew. And I think Jax backs it as well. Um, you see what I'm talking about with Luca? He's egging everyone out, son, to make out he is the good guy. Game player. Um, Andrew's loving the dare, loving the kiss from Coco. So on to Josh and Danica in Castle Moor. You can see things are moving quite smoothly with them. They talk about um, getting to know each other, whose bed they shared last night. She basically says that she didn't mean to share a bed with Deji. It just so happened. Obviously, she wanted to share a bed with Josh. They discuss about sharing a bed in tonight's episode. I feel like Josh, she was right in yesterday's episode that he does think he's too sus. I do not think that Danica should have to be grafting for Josh at all. I think like, obviously in tonight's episode, um josh goes in for a kiss with danica and i feel like that settled it where you know josh is gonna be con josh should continue to do the grafting now i feel like josh is very young and very immature josh has got like little boy energy but he actually finally goes in for the kiss jay and china now f they talk about their first impressions i do like jay i do like jay and china together they do seem like a, a good little match they've got a little connection going on jay um china is very um smooth talking like she seems herself as well um she's got a personality i love her personality she comes across nice um but yeah she they talk about the first impressions they're talking about how the challenge the challenge was an icebreaker which it was because everyone's now at their shell they're so comfortable with each other um but yeah she's definitely securing a spot for the main villa with jay and obviously jay's single and he's got no like head to really turn so he can have any girl in there and he's picked china and i'm here for it because china's beautiful they look like they're good gonna be a good little you know couple going forward he's bringing her back um, on to davide and big teeth molly now she asks him where his head's at and davide says that he's still thinking about um ekin su um and still interested in ekin su but um he doesn't trust blondes and he trusts brunettes more and basically molly says i can turn your head kind of thing and yeah and then she, and then molly states that davide was her second choice and she, he's like second choice like, i should be your first choice but they obviously share the bed in tonight's episode they kiss they you know get on with each other i'm so like shocked i'm i mean i'm still in shock thinking god damn it Ekin sue has been so low to this you know spaghetti bolognese and she ain't got she ain't got a clue what he's up to coco and davide they kiss in tonight's episode that that was quite mm, i think i don't think that i don't know like, i think like she is playing a game i think coco is playing a game she kisses davide just to you know um feel just to get a bet she says that she wants to do the kiss better because it was an underwater kiss that they had in the initial stages and then but prior to that she did get dared to kiss andrew and i was just like thinking but andrew's into this girl coco and i know that coco's gonna mug off um andrew later on if you know if basically she secures Andrew, well, she has actually secured Andrew because they share the bed tonight. Coco shade as well. As Andrew and Coco leave the bedroom, she's there waving goodbye to Tasha's name. Savage. She she actually has come to play the game and she's playing it very good. Like got more to see of Coco, even though I can't stand her face. Andrew is right in every way. Like he shouldn't sit around and wait for Tasha. Like and he should be mugged off because. He's been loyal to her since day one. He and uh, 
Tasha's had her head turn like two to three times and he still stood by her side and now it's his time to shine and it's his Love Island experience that started from tonight's episode. Now onto the drama between Luca and Dami. Why? I was not expecting that. Luca, none of the mandem said nothing because they know that you are fake. It, even Davide got up when Dami got up to walk off but that Dami was not having it. He still went in and said, listen, you're fake, you're fake. Um, Davide comes with his two pences and is right as well. Davide puts his two pences in and says, listen, um, Dami is right in what he's saying. You do exaggerate when you, 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 you're hyper about the boys and you're trying to egg on things. Um, Luca tries to look towards Jax to, to get to have his back up, but like, no. Jax was telling him straight how it was as well. All the go all the guys were not against Luca, but they were sticking up for what Dami was saying because Dami was actually correct. Like basically before um they had boys little they had a little boys meeting. Andrew explains what happened between him and Coco. Then Dami explains what happened between um him and Summer and how they've had a kiss. At least because you fucked up tonight, you regret. I just told you how I feel about India, but at the end of the day, you're trying to tell me I've done something wrong. Did I say you done something? I don't feel like I've done anything wrong. Dam was open and honest about what has happened. Like he owned up, to, like he owned up to what he'd done. And it's not like he's done anything wrong. He's had a kiss with Summer. Like it's not the end of the world. He basically says that it's gonna be, it, it will be more intimate in the bed if anything was to happen. A kiss doesn't mean it's not. A kiss doesn't mean it's intimate. It's just a kiss. But Luca is making out like Dam has done some whole like madness. Yes, Dam has kissed whilst well, he's in a couple with India, but Luca acts like he's this perfect person. He's not no perfect person. And when Dami come out with, oh, I don't hold the girl down and keep her hostage, I was like, no, Dami went there. Dami fully went there. But yeah, men are still trash at the end of the day. But yeah, the, the arguments between Luca and Dami, I was here for it. Oh, the drama. Anyway, in tomorrow night's episode, towards the end, Luca and Dami, they make up very quickly, surprisingly. You see how Luca was sat on the chair, like, he didn't even stand up because Dami was to, if anything was about to go down, Dami would have had him in a chokehold. Luca was a bit, Luca was prang. Luca was prang. Luca was acting like a real pums. Luca is a pums. Um, so yeah, they kiss and make up. Luca's concern is basically, oh, that um, he was called fake. It's playing on his mind because he knows that he has been playing fake. He has been doing fake shit. He has been e exaggerating. So yeah, that's playing on his mind. In, so in tomorrow night's episode, you see Billy and Tasha kissing. Paige is barling for, I don't even know. I reckon she's found out something or she wanted to probably get to know Billy a bit more, but n maybe because she's found out that Tasha and, and Tasha and Billy have kissed, maybe she's not feeling that. She seems emotional. I want to see what's happening in tomorrow night's episode. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.